and take all the rest of the bolts out of it. At least they're not Alan bolts like some people. Yeah, I'd say she's pretty messed up. Well, how would I oh, even take it out? <laughs> Put that in. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh yeah, that's uh, pretty deep. Yep, she broke. Isn't there another one on the other side? Right there, yep, right there. Somewhere. Yeah. How many bolts? Show me the secrets that you hold. Alright, one more. Oh, there she goes. Pull that uh, cover off. Yeah. Can you grab that workbench, mobile table thing? Move that crap up. Yeah, one thing we haven't mentioned is uh, it smells like the car caught on fire. All right, before it comes off, what are we going to? What are we? I think thinking? shafts. Shafts totally messed up. Shaft? Yeah? Guaranteed. What about you? I think the propellers, the propellers, propellers yeah, messed that's, up. That's what about you, Marty? I think it's completely destroyed. I think it looked gonna look like it's been sitting in there. Underwater for 30 years. It's gonna be brown, that's for sure. Because it kind of has been. Well, we got another issue. Uh. <laughs> look in there. Smell that. It smells like she's broke, kids. Martin Torn why is it actually nice? There's nothing wrong with the water pump. Yeah. Well, that boys. smells terrible. Well, it ain't I think water that pump. means we have a bigger issue. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. What? Oh, the mineral deposits. Oh, that'll do it. Oh, yeah. Nice. It's all calcium. Huh? Yeah. Yep. My whole motor was like that when I started thinking about it. Definitely need to flush it. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna pop a hose in there and a little like Test drive your cars oh. on the way to LA, kids. Check this out. Oh, I mean, which way did it flow? Oh, now I'm just too close. Looks like some bar. Man, it's how so it weird. starts up and literally sounds perfect. Yeah, it drives. And I don't. Um, it, yeah, it runs fine. It runs great. I don't know why it, <laughs> it it has to be that there's those minerals like back in the motor and some crevice in the bottom end or something. Just, just cake. It's pretty much what it has to be. Unless someone way in the past had some coolant leak somewhere and they threw in that like uh, stop leak. Yeah, stop leak and it got all built up somewhere else in the motor with the minerals. Uh, that literally is the only thing left. Placed everything, and and if that's not it, that's then it's more. Then you guys can obviously see the water pump's fine. Now I'm still gonna put a new one on it because yeah, it's soft. Right here, it didn't leak. The gasket was fine. That's so weird. Was it 
No, it's not like it's a counterclockwise one on a system. It's not even as bad as we thought. No, it's, yeah. it's, you can tell it's been replaced, too, because that backing yeah. plate, wherever it went, I think it flew on the floor. It it's just smells perfect. Yeah, no, that's actually pretty mad. It, it smells like burn. Yeah. Know. That's it's weird. weird. His dad was saying that it might have been the bearing. Got hot and cooked, but those two smells don't go together. But Metal. the other thing is, if the bearing got hot, we would have heard something. Yeah, and you can spin that thing. It's yeah. fine. Like, it's... Yeah. We're so confused. <laughs> that's so I weird. just, I still think... I'm on board with Marty here. I think it's a hairline crack that it's only happening under compression or something. It under is. the power stroke. Not even the head gasket could just be a hairline crack in the head itself. Yeah, I think it might be a hairline crack in the head. Uh, I just like, want to believe it. that's not the problem, so I'm definitely going to try to flush it and then see what it does from there. Once beat, I put everything back on. Yeah, I got to beat the crap out of it to like make sure this thing is good. Because it was fine. Like, temp gauge, by the way was hot, but it's, we it, know it's not hot. It was it hot, down. it dropped way down. It dropped way down. So and then, like, oh, then literally like five seconds later, or a few minutes later, it uh, went back up to H and then it blew up. That's weird. Yeah, we got some, got some investigating to do. Yeah, this is confusing. Really confusing. So you long time car guys need to, need to help us out? <laughs> Cause I, I'm, I'm just hoping it's this mineral crap built way up in the back of the motor somewhere. Like restricting flow. And I probably wasn't getting that much water in the radiator and there's a bunch of air built up or something. I don't know. And then flush it with some nice acidic block flush. Yeah. Clean it out. I still think we should pull it out Bill 408. Like to be if you agree. Comment I can't down below. afford that. Don't care, do it. <laughs> uh, we accept donations. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, if this motor's, motor's bad, it's gonna be a long while before this car's running again. Uh, I don't know what to do.